All right, well, I would like to welcome you to our next edition of Sizzling Spaces. Um, we are so excited to be out here today with Brian. Um, Brian is one of our project managers, and he does a lot of different fun things. And what we're talking about today is synthetic turf. Um, there's so many uses, so many applications, Brian. Um, tell us a little bit about, uh, about this particular project. It's, it's like midway through uh, the process. Well, this one here, instead of when you have lots of kids running back and forth from the deck to the pool, um, it just cuts down on the mess. We're like grass clippings and everything else. And it's just easier on the feet, clean, uh, maintenance free, and uh, just soft on the feet. Yeah, and that's one of the things uh, in this particular site, um, you see a lot of times like where areas like Brian was referring to where we have like the path here to the pool um, and pavers are, you know, wearing on the feet they can become a little bit slippery and, and things they get like warm that. with the sun they get warm with the sun um, so the grass um, the synthetic turf uh, our sin lawn in particular is awesome for that it's it's basically 40 percent less heat buildup than any other turf on the market um, also an antimicrobial built into the the fibers which is really cool because that brings us to a couple other installations that you've done um, the the pet turf um, tell us a little bit about some of the uh, projects, um, I'm maybe thinking of the Madison one in particular, um, where you did the pet turf installations. Like that one, they just had a small section of lawn, and then when you have a couple of dogs, you get dog spots. So you're like, oh, he's trying to get this patch of grass to grow, this patch of grass to grow, this patch, and then you got dog cleanup. Um, again, you got the, all the mess area. This way, it's just simple, no maintenance, no mowing, easy cleanup. And uh, there's, you don't have to worry about dead spots. And, and the, the pets love it. I mean, it, it looks like lawn. Uh, the technology's come a long, long way. Um, one of the fun things too, when we're talking about pet turf, when we look at this or any type of turf is drainage. Um, it's always the stuff that you, that you don't really see that's, that's underneath. And in this case, um, we're basically uh, putting a, a similar base to what we do on our, our pavers. We've got a three quarter inch clear base, compacted, and then a chips on top. So the Moisture, whatever it is, if you've got wet areas uh, and whatnot, will go right through and then be absorbed um, into the soil substrate below. Uh, with pets, it's particularly important because um, pets, when they, uh, when they go on your lawn, so to speak, aside from the dead spots, um, you can get unpleasant odors <laughs> uh, at times. So the turf is awesome because it actually will drain through. It's kind of like a dishwasher where when it rains, it rinses, goes through the stone layer and gets absorbed. So um, with the antimicrobial built into the uh, fibers of the turf and the antimicrobial infill um, with the microband technology, um, it works out fantastic. Uh, safe for pets, safe for kids, play areas, um, and really multi-purpose. The other part is kind of the seaming, uh, to be realistic, and, and, and we'll be getting some shots of the progression of here so you see kind of how it looks, uh, finished product, but the seaming is important. So usually when you get complicated installs, like here there's several seams, that's when you want to have the experts come out and do that. Normally you're going to have uh, more than one piece of turf in a project, especially like when you're going around corners like this. So the key is to get uh, these glued together so they look seamlessly like they're one piece of um, just one piece of solid turf and usually what we do we use a piece of fabric here and there's special glue that comes just for the turf so then we just spread it out and meet the two ends together and then they just meld together Attachment is a very important uh, factor when it comes to laying turf. You want to have the turf uh, tight and secure all the way around. So normally what we do, you're going to end up here we have a deck and here we have a concrete stew. So normally what, what is done, here for example, we use treated 2x4, attached with tap cons to the concrete, and then we work down, same thing with the 2x4s there. So then you would just fold back, trim, and attach, 
and then uh, there you go for that corner. And then on, on the outside edge, where we had the lawn, we pull a straight string down so our turf, when it's laid, is a straight line. And then we angle down the, the base on the bottom. So when you fold this over, and then we'll add soil onto the outside, right up to the top of our turf. And then you just seed this, and then the two just mesh together seamlessly. From a maintenance standpoint, um, you're not cutting your lawn. Really, the only thing you got to worry about is in fall when the leaves are coming around, you kind of blow it off. Um, you don't really even need to vacuum it like your interior <laughs> carpet um, because Mother Nature will clean it for you. Um, Brian, you know, what are some of the uh, putting green installations? Let's talk a little bit about the golf product. Uh, we're getting into golf season now. It's a fun time to get out and uh, spend a little time out, out in the yard. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about uh, the, the chipping greens and uh, the putting surfaces. Well, you can get probably a variety of grasses, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, so you can just make, I mean, you can just, whatever your heart desires, whatever your green wants. You can go from like your small little three-hole putting green in the backyard to uh, a full-size chipping green with, uh, you know, some spots out in your yard where you can actually hit from, chip in, putt on, like a almost like dead realistic onto the, like the actual golf course. Yeah, and the beauty of this, um, if you wanted to have a real green, years ago we did real greens and you need a special mower, the maintenance, um, there's all sorts of disease issues that can happen. We really need to be a professional groundskeeper to have those greens looking awesome. With the th synthetic line that we have, um, and, and we've, we've had greens out since 1992. Um, it's pretty amazing. People are still putting on those surfaces and um, they look beautiful. Again, very low maintenance. Um, and just another thing you can do outside with your family. And really that's what it's about. Like when I think about this install, setting up the bags, um, you know, doing the, um, uh, the bocce ball and things like that. Some nice family games. Um, and then also in the, in the corner here, you know, Put a putting green, come out there and, and putt for dollars, have a little fun. Um, you know, those are all unique things that you can do to, um, to fundraise for your golf green. <laughs> You're putting for dollars. Um, and then you can have that home court advantage. You know, we have little times where we put that little undulation in there, Brian. Remember those yeah, projects yeah. where it's like, okay, here's where it's gonna break that only the homeowner knows. Um, so those are kind of fun things uh, as well. So um, with that being said, Brian, thanks for your, your time today. Um, we'll get a few shots more as we work through and, and talk about it a little bit uh, further. Uh, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to Sizzling Spaces Synthetic Turf Edition. And this is another grass you can kiss.